So Biden is going to say this stuff because he knows he's not going to get fact checked by the Washington Post or the New York Times or the Network News. He doesn't care what I say. All right. He doesn't care what the anti Biden media says. And I'm part of the anti Biden media and I don't even want to be there. I don't even want to be part of any media movement. I just want to be independent, but I can't be pro Biden. He's the second worst president in our history. And when my book comes out September 10th, we'll prove that. Okay? It's not even hard to prove. All right. As far as the campaign is concerned, um, no debate. They'll say whatever they want. And Trump will say whatever he wants to. I mean, he care. He's not fact-checking himself. Um, so we have conventions. Uh, Republican July 15th to 18th. Um, and Democrat, August 19 and 22. Why? <laughs> I mean, there's no reason to have them. Unless something happens, which is possible. Biden's going downhill so fast that he's not a lock, as I said. But if things stay the same, why? nobody's going to watch him. There's no reason to have him. Um, I think Trump's going to announce his VP sooner rather than later. I mean, it's possible he might hold it over to the camp convention, but I don't think so. Now, I have said this and said this and said this. I believe it is a gut feeling of mine that there will be an event or events with an S that will change the complexion of this race. I don't know what it is. It just, it's in my bones here. Okay. And that's the memo. All right. So Joe Biden was in Pittsburgh doing, you know, raising money and getting the unions and telling everybody everything's great. Okay. That's what he does most of the time now. New poll from The Economist magazine, left wing magazine, uh, 1,795 American adults, not registered voters, not likely voters, adults, which means that the polling pool is not as intelligent as it could be. First question, do you have a favorable or unfavorable opinion of Donald Trump? Favorable, 43, pretty high number there. Unfavorable, 54. How about Joe Biden? Favorable, 38, five points lower than Trump. Unfavorable, 59, five points higher. That's interesting. Final question, do you approve or disapprove of the way Joe Biden's handling his job as president? Approved 37%. That's Jimmy Carter territory. Disapproved 59%. And that is from a left-wing organization, The Economist. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532.